This is Cochin Shipyard. It is easily India's largest and best shipyard and is one of the world's few shipyards capable of manufacturing aircraft carriers. This mini ratna company epitomizes how a successful public sector project can be run successfully. In short, if Cochin is known as the queen of the Arabian Sea, the Cochin shipyard can be labeled as her crown. But the shipyard has had a very difficult past. Despite the initial planning, there was a phase when the construction of the shipyard could not begin for years. Once the construction was completed though, the shipyard suffered heavy losses for years. It was only innovative thinking and disciplined hard work that made the company what it is today. This video depicts the incredible journey of Cochin Shipyard, the pride of India. We will also see how a ship is built in the Cochin Shipyard. Ships have been used for centuries for long distance freight transport. Ships still remain as the most cost effective mode of transport for huge volumes of cargo. It is therefore imperative for any country that wants to grow rapidly to have a modern ship building industry. At the time of Indian independence in 1947, there was only one shipyard in India. But the then central government knew that it was totally inadequate for such a large country. Although several locations around the country's coast were explored for a new shipyard, Cochin proved to be the most suited. Some of the Cochin's favorable factors include its proximity to international shipping lanes, accessibility of railway, convenience to get there, and the presence of an existing port. In 1960, 100 acres of land was acquired near the Vendurathi Bridge along the lake for a shipyard. The proposal, however, stayed on paper even after six years of approval. Fed up of this, the locals devised a plan to register their protest and draw the attention of the central government. They used bamboo, reeds and paper to create a small ship. After completing it in a few days, they named the ship SS Cochin Rani loaded it onto a lorry and crisscrossed the area before launching it in the sea. The national media caught wind of this unique protest and things moved really fast from then on. Local MPs raised this issue in the parliament. Soon afterwards, Indra Gandhi's government acquired additional 70 acres of land and the construction of the shipyard began straight away. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries a shipbuilding behemoth of the time assisted and supervised the construction of the shipyard. It took nearly 10 years to complete the first phase. Meanwhile, the first ship's construction began in 1976. It was the MV Rani Padmini, a bulk carrier. In the first phase, the pace of construction of this ship was slow. It was at this time that E. Sridharan, who later came to be known as the Metro Man, became the head of the Cochin shipyard. The productivity of the shipyard was at an all-time low due to the strikes. Since the primary business of a shipyard is to build and deliver ships quickly, the sluggish pace of construction was not acceptable to him. As a result, M. V. Vani Padmini was released two years later. When Sridharan was the CMD of the shipyard, he succeeded in improving the fortunes of the shipyard, though temporarily. However, in the early 1990s, another problem surfaced. The main reason for this was the significant loss incurred throughout the shipbuilding process. The global shipbuilding industry was experiencing a downturn at the time. In addition, the shipyard was required to repay loans that it had taken from the government. Cochin Shipyard overcame this phase by stopping new shipbuilding temporarily and by accepting only profitable ship repair works. In addition, the central government converted the outstanding loan amount into equity. Ever since 1994, the Cochin Shipyard has been profitable. The shipyard was also able to overcome the 2009 economic recession by building ships for defense purposes. If it took five years to build MV Rani Padmani, today Cochin Shipyard can build an average of two ships a year. 
as we all know ships are built by cutting huge metal sheets to the proper size and shape the coaching shipyard has a stockyard covering an area of 3 and 1/2 acres for storing such steel sheets steel can be transported here by trucks wagons or barges as it is well connected by road rail and water the steel sheets are properly processed and converted into parts for the hull of the ship at the nearby hull shop the hull shop covers an area of 7 acres the process starts by removing the rust by shot blasting the metal sheet and applying a primer coating the sheets are then spray painted and dried in a drying chamber the next step is to cut the sheet in the shape required for ship building the metal sheet is marked in the desired shape with a machine and then cut with a plasma cutter next these cut sheets are put through a heavy press to remove any bend and then are welded together into the appropriate shape with welding machine these parts known as ship units can weigh up to 50 tons these units are assembled and converted into larger parts at the assembly shop near the hull shop huge units can be easily replaced using a crane as the building has a sliding roof there are also two large gantry cranes for smooth transfer of ship parts these cranes are in fact the hallmark of the city of cochin today to build the ship's hull large parts from the assembly shop are assembled on the building dock this dry dock is 255 meters in length 42.5 meters in width and 9 meters in depth it can build ships weighing up to 110000 tons this is the photo of the ins anvesh a ship built by cochin shipyard and drdo for the indian navy placed on the building dock after completing the works on hull the gate opens and the ship floats out the water level in the dock will automatically rise when the gate is opened because the dock space is below the water level in the lake however construction of the next ship can only begin if the gate is closed and water is pumped and the dock is dry again even if the ship has got out of the dock it does not mean that the work on the ship is over there is still a lot of work to be done inside the ship key is the place to do these works key is an area of the lake adjacent to the shore where the shipyard is located however in order to prepare the key the soil has to be removed from the water and put concrete piles at the bottom to ensure strength today the coaching shipyard has three keys 290 meters 208 meters and 460 meters in length we can see the ins vikrant under construction at number 3 key through this google map image not only does cochin shipyard possess the capacity for ship building but also to perform excellent ship repair works for this there is a repair dock which is 270 meters long 45 meters wide and 12 meters deep it should be noted that the maintenance dock is larger than the building dock as a result the shipyard will be able to service larger ships built by other shipyards interestingly the mv rani padmini the first ship built at the shipyard was the first ship to arrive for repairs years later to date cochin shipyard has completed the repair of over 1000 ships it was here that the 2009 and 2011 refitting of ins virat india's aircraft carrier took place today CSL is in the process of setting up a new dry dock in addition to these two docks. This new dock is 310 meters long, 60 meters wide and 13 meters deep. It will also have a gantry crane with a capacity of up to 600 tons. Once the dry dock is completed, CSL will be capable of handling aircraft carriers with a displacement of up to 70,000 tons. as well as larger merchant ships and oil exploration rigs meanwhile work is in progress to modernize the existing ship repair dock in addition csl has small ship repair docks across the country today csl is not just an excellent shipyard 
but it also has marine engineering training institute that trains the best marine engineers candidates with a degree in mechanical engineering can get excellent jobs on ships by training here they can then rise to the position of chief engineer of the ship or even higher corporate roles thousands have already graduated from this institution without a doubt the cochin shipyard is the pride of cochin kerala and india the shipyard directly and indirectly employs thousands of people and earns a net profit of about 600 crore rupees every year many of us may be surprised to learn that a public sector company that too in kerala has achieved such great success This mini ratna company is a perfect example that with good management and sincere workforce any industry can thrive anywhere. Let's hope that we all are able to nurture several such industries and take the country forward. Jai Hind.